Hello my lovely little lovelies, welcome back. So I wanted to do a nice bold lip look, something a little bit vampy. I didn't want to do just a typical, just a wing liner because I feel like I have lots of them. That's why I like smoked it out a bit just to make it a little bit different. So let's just get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly fill my brows in. So I'm just going to comb them. This just helps comb all the hair out of my way. And then I'm taking my brow styler from Benefit. I'm taking the shade number two. So I'm just gonna start with the underneath. And I'm just gonna lightly fill in the end. I'm just taking that up. And then I'm gonna just tidy up the top here. Just because my brows are quite thin naturally, so I just like to thicken them up a little bit. And as always, taking my 24 hour brow set to keep all the little hairs in place. So I just comb it up and just press it. I'm going in with a little bit of the powdered end of the brow styler and I'm just gonna fill in see this little gap here underneath I just feel like it looks a little bit lighter so I'm just gonna really gently just add a little bit of product there just to even out the brow color so I'm going to prime my lids now I'm just using some of my shape tape concealer so I just want to do a very subtle shade just in my crease because I want the focus to just be on the liner but I always find when I just do liner on my eyes it's just I don't know it's a bit flat so I always like to put just a little bit of something in the crease just to define my eye shape so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take some of this shade tamarind it is from the Natasha Denona Safari palette I'm going to apply this with a Morphe M573 brush and we will just apply a bit of this in my crease So now I'm gonna take a black eyeliner. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one, and I'm taking this small little shader brush. So anything that's really teeny tiny like this will work. It's a Morphe E39, that's the one I'm using. So I'm just gonna take some on the brush. And then I'm gonna just start by mapping out my line. I'm gonna drag this back in. I want like the outer part here to be thick and then go into a nice fine line along here. So this area here is gonna be the thickest part of the liner. So I'm gonna just map out this line slightly and then I can go in between both and alter what needs to be altered, but I just want to get the symmetry as precise as I can. So I'm going to take some of this black eyeshadow. This is the best black eyeshadow going. It is the Dark Matter Shadow from Melt Cosmetics. Literally the blackest of the black. It's intense and I love it. Take a little bit on my brush and I'm going to start by just smoking this out along the lash line. I'm gonna clean up that wing at the end so I'm not too worried just once I have the actual shape of how I want it to go I'm happy with but as I said I'll clean up all underneath underneath here <laughs> oh my god I'm making it so much worse okay I'm just gonna wipe this a little bit I'm just going to take one of my felt tip liners. This is the Tarte Tartiest Liner. I'm going to fill in my inner corner here. I'm going to take this shade called Shea. I'm getting a little bit of that on the tip of this little brush. This is a Morphe um, 507, I think. It's hard to see because it's row here on the paint. 
And now I'm just going to go along the liner with the tip of the brush and just start smoking out that lash line a little bit more. More so on the outer part of the, of the wing. Now I'm gonna take a wipe. I like to just wrap a little bit of it around my finger like this. And then I will just wipe it up along here towards my temple. And it's just really gonna clean up the edge of that liner. So I'm going to start with my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. So this just gives the skin a nice, soft, subtle glow. For my foundation, I'm taking the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is the shade Vienna, but I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to add some of the Jude Hula from Benefit, which is like a liquid bronzer. So I like to mix this with foundations when I want my foundation to be a little bit darker, especially when I when I have my tan on. So I just put my foundation on and then add a little bit of this to it. And it just deepens it a shade or two. For my cream contour, I'm taking my Huda Beauty Tantor. This is the shade Light. The brush I'm using for this is a Japanesque brush. Just this small little buffer brush. So I start with underneath my cheeks. I kind of like to just tap this product on and then I'll soften the edges so it gets like maximum impact with the product. So I feel like sometimes when you blend, 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 you end up blending it away. I'll do it along my jaw as well. I'm going to conceal and highlight now with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This shade is Creme Brulee. So we'll just do this underneath the eyes. So I want underneath the eyes here to be really like... What's the word? Flawless? Is that the word I'm looking for? Who knows? I just want it to be like really crisp and clean underneath so then the liner just pops. So I'm putting extra concealer on just to cover up any little freckles or anything that wants to come through. I have these like smile lines that I hate so I don't know if this highlight, this concealer will work here but we're going to try it. I'm going to blend this out now. The brush I'll use is a Fenty highlight brush. This little angled fella. I really like this for blending out concealer under the eye. I just like the shape. The shape just fits really nicely underneath. So I'm just gonna blend that out. I did good at contouring that cheekbone today. That's a good cheekbone. So instead of using a loose powder today to set, I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralize powder. This is in the shade Light Plus. So I'm just gonna press this over my concealer. I really like this powder because it sets really nicely on the skin. It never goes like too powdery looking. It just gives you that really nice like flawless skin-like look. Then I'm gonna take another one of the MAC Mineralize powders. This one is in the shade Medium Deep. And I'm gonna use this to bronze my skin. I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M527. I'm just popping these lashes on. These are from Lily Lashes and no, they're not Ella Lashes for once. These are the Lila Lash. I'm just gonna do mascara on the lower lash. And we'll do my cheeks. So I'm gonna take my MAC Warm Soul and some color. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. highlight. I have not used this before so I don't really know how it's gonna look but hopefully it won't be too light. It's 
So for my lips, I'm taking the Fenty Liquid Lip. This is in the shade Underdog. As far as I know, this is a limited edition for their holiday collection. For my inner corners, I'm gonna try this. This is from Colourpop. It is their body glitter in the shade Starfire. So this is the final look. It actually came out much better than I had in my mind because if you know me, then you know I'm either an eye or a lip kind of gal. I don't usually do both, but I'm very impressed with this look and I would absolutely wear this look out for sure. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.